He was way too short to join the army, but a tumor was developing in his brain. It triggered his hormones, and suddenly the four foot six man started to grow. What he had was most likely a tumor near the pituitary gland, the master gland for hormones. When it overproduces growth hormone, you don't just get taller. Your hands, feet, jaw, and even your nose start to grow disproportionately. That's classic hormone-driven overgrowth, not just natural height. His hands, feet, and tongue expanded, and he grew over two feet in just a few years. But as he did, his spine curved. Soon his vision blurred, and eventually he had trouble hearing. Exactly what we see in untreated gigantism. Too much growth hormone for too long. Bones thicken, the spine deforms, nerves get compressed, and you start to lose things like vision and hearing. It's not just being tall, it's a serious disease. Finally, doctors removed the tumor, which slowed his growth, but it didn't stop it completely. Even after surgery, some patients keep growing a bit. That can happen if there's residual tumor. It's not the most common outcome, but it's absolutely possible. By the time he died, he was seven foot eight, making him the only man to live as both a dwarf and a giant.